Hey everyone, my name's Barry and this is Centralize. So today I got a bit of a special one. Uh, in the post come today is the new Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal Le Parfum. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give a quick first impressions um, and then I'm gonna come wear it throughout the day, wear it tomorrow and then late tomorrow I'll give you my overall thoughts of this and I'll put it all into one video. So we'll crack into this to start with. And I got the 75ml bottle and I got it from Boots. So this is the presentation of the well-known Le Mal tins that they come in. And let's crack into this one. And there's the bottle. Look at that for a bottle. That is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous, love it. So this is a 75 mil and this is a Eau de Parfum Intense, whatever that means. So we'll give it a try, shall we? Give it a smell. So I've seen couple of things on this not a lot I know Tony over at Fragdicted did one and Dan that Dan Talk Sense has done one now I watched a bit of Tony's but I didn't want to be influenced too much so I haven't watched Dan's and I know um, the Fragrance Explorer has done it as well and I know some of the, our American friends have done it but I didn't want to watch them because I didn't want to be too influenced by it Mm, that's interesting. Straight away, I like it. I really do like it. You've got cardamom, you've got vanilla, tonka. And I can detect a hint of iris in there as well. This is a much darker version. Now, I think Ultramal went down this sweet and dark route, but this seems to have gone the same way, and it's even darker. I do like this. So my first impressions are good, real good. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying this over the next couple of days, and then I'll come back to you I'll give you a full review on top of this. So I'll speak to you all soon. Hey everyone. So I've been wearing this fragrance now for a good 30 hours. Um, I showed you my first impressions earlier. So let's dig into this. So first of all, we'll talk about the price. So I managed to pick up this 75 mil bottle from Boots here in the UK, and that was 55 pound. I think the 125 mil is going for 70 plus. I can't remember exactly. Now I know it's an exclusive with Boots at the moment, but I'm pretty sure it's only exclusive for the first week or so, and then after that it should be everywhere. But I know quite a few people have already reviewed it um, and I know there's quite a few places in America where you can get this as well so the notes in the top you've got cardamom in the mid you got lavender and iris and in the base there's vanilla oriental notes and woodsy notes So it doesn't really list many, does it? 
um, bit of a jigsaw puzzle. So originality, I think it is original. This is, it does have similar DNA to a few other fragrances. Um, I think it does, it's got similar things to La Nuit de Lom. Um, I don't know if that's the, because of the cardamom. And I think that's the main thing with a lot of these comparisons. It's the cardamom, which is like the forefront of everything. Um, Ultramal with a vanilla, I think it's quite similar to that, but it goes in a completely different direction. And also it's got a similar sort of vibe to D&G, the one. So is it lineal? Um, no, it does change over time. I'll go into that a bit more when I give my overall at the end. Projection wise, I'd say average projection, probably an arm's length um, is what I was getting from it. And you probably get that for the first hour, hour and a half before it comes a bit closer. Longevity, I think it was lasting quite a long time. I would say a good eight hours longevity on me. Um, when to wear it, I would say it's probably an autumn or winter sort of fragrance and also I'd consider this like a sort of thing that I'd wear on a date. Who would wear it? I would say it's definitely unisex. I know it's aimed at the male market but my mum has been wearing Le Mal, Le Mal, the original, since when I had bottles back in the 90s and she kept, kept nicking it then and in the end we had to buy her a bottle and she's still buying bottles now so you can wear what you want we've had this discussion many times before but I do think that with it being a bit gourmandish then women could get away with this no problem at all compliments obviously working from home it's a bit difficult but the wife does like it so that's always a bonus is it worth the money £55 just for the presentation alone. I think that's a beautiful bottle. I think it's really nice. Apparently, it's supposed to be like an officer's jacket with the, the black and the gold. Um, but yeah, I think it's worth the money. My overall thoughts on this, considering I've only been wearing it for a good day and a half, um, I'll get a big blast of cardamom in the opening and a lovely vanilla which runs right the way through the life of the fragrance. I get the iris mixing with the vanilla which is lovely. I also get a chocolatey sort of coffee feel. I love, my favourite coffee drink is a mocha and that's what I get from this, I really do. I do get hints of lavender but it's not very prominent. But I don't think it's a clean lavender because normally lavenders you associate with like clean smelling fragrances, but this isn't. Um, so it's quite a dirty sort of lavender. So unlike some people, I don't think this reminds me of the original Le Mal, but then neither did Ultramal. It, they were in completely different directions. This is more darker than any of the others and it has a, a woody oriental feel to it. I have really enjoyed wearing this and I'm, I'm looking forward to wearing it more often. Um, this is a big hit for me, I'm, I'm very happy. So that was my look at the new Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal Le Parfum. Have you tried this yet? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribing always helps. I'll speak to you all soon. Stay fragrant, not vagrant.